here from Chameleon AMLS. And today, we're gonna to take a bit of a technical dive into how we engineer the grid, the AMLS grid that we talk about so much. We're gonna talk about some of the techniques we use around design, manufacturing, and the assembly to achieve this really, really unique, fully modular Chameleon AMLS grid system. Let's go and have a closer look. So here at Chameleon AMLS, all our products are designed by our team of engineers in-house in 3D CAD software. We then take those models, we export them out into an NC file format ready for the robotic machines that we use to laser cut, fold, before they come back for, for fabrication manufacturing, out for surface treatment and in for final fit up and assembly. All our bases, all our lockers, all our flexors are all designed in that same way and manufactured in that same process. We use two main forms of CNC laser cutting. The first one is our flat products. We can see here one of the dressing plates off one of our larger trailers. A very distinct chameleon aesthetic you, you can see. But this has been cut as a flat sheet product on our laser in-house on the CNC folder brake press and it's ready to go out to powder coat before it comes back in for final assembly. We also use that same CNC cutting technology on our tubes and you hear us talk all the time about our interlocking trailer chassis. Again this is one of our cross beams off one of our trailers. The CNC cutting allows us to get absolute dimensional accuracy on the way we're doing our grid set out. So we know that 100% with 350mm, the, the interlocking modularity will work and we'll, we can send your products in one, two, five years time and we know exactly where these anchor points are going to be. The other thing that the, the laser cutting allows us to do is use a hex cert as opposed to a traditional nut cert. So we're all familiar, I'm sure, with a traditional nut cert and I've got a couple here to show you. A nut cert is typically round in its shank, it's got a knurling there and we, we pull that into the, into the cross beams. By using the CNC laser cutting, it's letting us use a hex cert, so a hexagonally shanked nut cert that ensures that no matter how tight we tension these anchor points, we're not going to spin that faster in the chassis. So you've effectively got a captive nut, the pull strength of a, of a nut cert and a really, really durable anchor point right the way across the chassis. So to my right, we can see the beginnings of a Ram 1500 U-Tray base here. Importantly, we can see that grid of cross beams, every 350mm, another CNC robotically laser cut cross beam, and of course, that's housing our hex certs we've just been looking at. That gives us absolute dimensional accuracy because all these beams have been cut on a, on a robotic CNC tube mill. We then take that chassis, we start to what we call dress that base tray up, trailers are the same, and we swing across to my left here where we can see now a tray for a CHOP 200 series. So this is a, a two metre wide, 1850 long tray for a CHOP 200 series fully dressed, ready for fitment. So we can see the dressing plates, the laser cut dressing plates, all our anchor points. But importantly, the floor plate's been fixed down through all those, those holes that, we've, that have been cut into the tube on the robots. We can see now that floor plate being fastened down to the, to the, uh, ba the chassis of this base tray. Importantly, we can see now just the grid of hex certs poking through. So every 350 mil in both directions, we're getting another structural anchor point. The other key point of the way we've designed our grid is that from the outside in, there's a secondary grid. So that's 50 mil in from the edge, 50 mil in from the back and the, and the far side of every base tray and trailer. We've got a pairing at 750 mil centres of, of two more anchor points. That's allowing us to bolt drop sides, uh, trade racks, all the flexor components, anything that gets set out from the outside of the base inwards picks up on that 50 and 75 mil hole centre. And the way we've designed the two widths of trays and trailers, we've got one being 1850, our standard size, and two metres, our wide standard. One of those two will always be on our 350 mil grid. So that's ensuring that no matter what component you've got, locker or flexor alike, it will always fit and we can turn that 90 degrees. We can move that up and down the base regardless of what it is, regardless of whether you've got a standard size or a wide standard, you can still pick up those anchor points, such as the, the consistency of the, the grid across both width platforms. So we've talked about the engineering process. We've seen the tube cut chassis frame that we've got. We've got this relatively empty base tray beside me. But as we swing across to this base 4.5 narrow flat deck trailer, we can see the exact same set out, the exact same dimensions of all the grids. 50 mil in the 75 mil pairing, every 350 mil in both directions, another one of our structural uh, hex points tied right back into the chassis. This is where we can really start to see how the AMLS grid works. We've got trade racks here. We can move them up and down every 350 mil. We've got our flexor range of jerry can holders, gas bottle holders, motorbike holders, buggy wheel chocks. All the various elements can be put, bolted down across any of the base trays or trailers every 350 mil in both directions. We can see one of our locker, the 2.0 wide tall, 
with that system, we can lift that canopy straight off there. We can bolt it straight onto this U tray. The same anchor points are all consistent across the whole range. Even if we go to one of our narrower uh, 1850 standard size U trays, we would see the same uh, ability to bolt that down. It would be, of course, 150 mil wider, but we could still pick up points in that narrower base tray. So much flexibility, but this is the heart of the Chameleon Aimless system, our grid of anchor points we talk about so much, and we thought we'd just come in here and give you guys a closer look at how we achieve that. So there it is, the Chameleon AMLS grid. We've talked about how we engineer it, how we manufacture it. We've had a look at how that manifests and how modular this is. We've tested these to the, to the Simpson Desert, Cape York, the Fink and Back. We know this is the toughest, most modular U tray and trailer system on the market. We know that we can configure an outcome for you, whether it's work or play or both. Lots more content on our YouTube channel, always something fresh on our Facebook or Instagram. We can't wait to hear from you and talk through your dream base tray or trailer configuration. <laughs>